Welcome back for episode 22 of Chrono Trigger. This is Hadron. This is Roxy. And this is Ambi. And here we go with the last of the turrets. Didn't manage to kill a single one. <laughs> uh, it's because you got Marl in the party, that's why. Yeah, that's probably it. <laughs> Everybody hates Marl. <laughs> if you disagree, please leave a comment. <laughs> please do. <laughs> we need more comments. Please actually comment. Oh. Just tell us how your day has been. Is yeah. that the golem boss that we yep. didn't see last time? Yep. I just noticed that like the golem boss has a sort of kind of a head on like the big sort of spiky static type top. <laughs> like, like the two, two yellow spots and yeah. the mouth under it. Yeah. Yeah, he does. Hmm. <laughs> Oh. Golem boss five, four. Three. He's counting. So let's just throw some of our strongest stuff at it. Everyone's HPs are looking pretty decent. Yeah. Especially frog. Right? Frog is strong. Strong frog. Golem boss, um... Golem boss has problem Problems? <laughs> problems speaking in public! All oh, the irony! <laughs> <laughs> uh. I spoke too soon. Oh, I... Counting down again. Did we like interrupt him? So, question: Does yep. it have to be moral every time that, like, after Chrono does just nope. disappears, or it's it's whoever you bring in? Okay. Yeah. So, if I wanted it to be Ayla, then it could be Ayla. Nice. Scared? You might have noticed, by the way, the Golden Boss hasn't actually done anything yet. Is the Golden Boss actually in like two parts? Because it looks kind of weird. Uh, I think it's just got a really weird design. It looks like, like it a... has like three faces almost. <laughs> Golden Boss, I hate. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I hate heights too, bunny. Is away. that why it was counting? Because it was trying to like psych itself up, like, all right, in five, yeah. I'm gonna punch them. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> well, I guess that was the theme for that sort of area. <laughs> Everything runs away. <laughs> oh. Dalton's throne. The oh, Arrow God. Dalton that, Imperial. That's even worse than Air Throne. <laughs> You know the people surrounding him are kind of dancing in time. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck? Oh my god. Uh. I love Dalton. I hope that's canon, but like, they have their actual music in the thing. So do I. <laughs> like, Chrono made a mix CD. Lucas has got an MP3 player in with her. Houston? Toolkit. So Houston exists in this universe? <laughs> Not just in this universe, but in the year 12,000 BC. Who translated this? Because I need to punch them in the face. <laughs> He's stealing our airship. What a cat. Fly off and land on him. He also turned it into an airship, though, so... Hmm. Oh, yeah, he did turn it into an airship because it was just a time machine. Yeah. Oh, that's true. <laughs> Why is he <laughs> posing? <laughs> uh, he looks like a rock star gone wrong. <laughs> it has weapons? What the fuck? It does now. We've been flying around this thing this whole time, and this guy just gets it and is like, oh yeah, wings, guns. Does that mean we can hey. use it against Lavos later? 
It might. Hopefully. It'd be nice. Hey. Save us a little bit of trouble. Yeah. He doesn't have Chrono, Marl. Get with the program. Marl's a little bit lost in grief. That's why she just jumped off of an airship. <laughs> onto an airship. Off the airship, onto an airship. Dalton Plus. <laughs> That's actually his name, fucking Christ. <laughs> Bomb your own ship. No, it's okay, we're not targeting the ship, so it'll be fine. <laughs> Set your own ship on fire. He does something a little bit smarter. He doesn't use the same element as you use, he uses the opposite element, which makes a little bit more sense. Luca, what the fuck did I just say? Everyone... Just land the damn ship. <laughs> God. Like this is so dangerous. Who got their <laughs> flying license? Seriously. Dalton. Fuck he, Dalton. he spent like four years before the before Dalton, everything that happened here. Dalton went to the actual like uh, aeronautics academy. <laughs> I mean, he was complaining like that first time when we saw him about how long the Black River was taking to like to build. Maybe he was like. I passed my certification, why isn't my ship ready yet? <laughs> that's why his name is Dalton Plus, because that's actually the name of his license. He's, <laughs> he is licensed to fly all levels of classifications of, of uh, air vehicles. Oh, he's calling out the Golden Boss. Who's still afraid of heights. Oh, oh wait, no. No. We killed it, didn't we? Whoops. Did he... <laughs> Did he run away again? No, he got sucked into his boss summoning portal because the golden boss wasn't there. Good. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Marl, you jumped off an airship. I thought he was going to... Onto another airship. I thought it was going to go wrong because I thought it was going to summon a golem onto the airship and I was like, I'm not sure I can take that much weight. <laughs> Guys, pilot the damn ship! <laughs> <laughs> they don't know what they're doing! Hit the Y button, quick. They're just gonna start firing missiles at the ground. Okay. Holy fuck. Oh my god, they're gonna destroy the whole airship somehow. Frog, don't give her commands! Frog's like, I don't wanna do. Oh Back my god. Drivers. This is a bad idea. I mean, I kinda trust Luca to know what she's doing, but Frog, Frog, you're, Not you're a medieval frog, frog yeah. knight. Frog's like, I've seen this in a book once upon a time. <laughs> once yonder. See, they dance. They dance. A chip can fly. I think they're just running a marathon in place. <laughs> See, now they changed the mix CD. My other favorite part of the book is it doesn't appear to have any leg room. <laughs> Frog is standing on his seat, and everyone else looks like they're sort of just kneeling on their kneeling, seat. Kneeling, yeah. <laughs> well, it was built by a new, and they've got kind of a different body shape, so. <laughs> I thought I thought Frog was gonna be like Frog, like the kind of Shrek donkey Shrek Fiona thing from the movie when they they say each other's names, laugh. Okay. <laughs> Marl, look inside your stupid pendant. <laughs> I swear to God, there's a miniature chrono in there. So, the news got some new stuff here, but let's skip that. Who cares about buying equipment at this point? I do. <laughs> no, we care about Chrono. We're on a mission to find Chrono. That's why it's called Chrono Trigger, because he's actually in the pendant, and we're gonna put the pendant in a gun. And, you know, <laughs> Chrono Trigger. We're, oh, what, we're going to shoot Chrono at somebody? At levels. <laughs> suspicious looking No, person. it's Chrono Trigger. He's going to be the trigger of the gun. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see. Like a Voltron thing. <laughs> Are they saying that they saw Magus? A suspicious person in a cave? Hey, it's a cat. Purple cat. Wait, Shannon's wasn't that cat. the cat? Yeah, that, uh... That's was the cat following the little child? Yeah. Who the fuck is the child? At least the... Cat survived. Oh. Cats always survive. It's a rule of video games. Then where's Janice? Marl doesn't have friends. She has subjects. <laughs> Christ. 
I think the rest of the party might like Marl a little bit more than you do, Roxy. I think you're wrong. <laughs> there hasn't been a poll. No one asked <laughs> the rest of the party's opinion. I think it's all agreed that everyone loves Robo, for example. Everybody Robo is an actor. That's fair. Robo. If you don't, then get out. There he is. Oh, hey. he's shadow stepping. He's just dancing too. He's really happy. Push him over the ledge. He can't swim. Not with that cape on. Along with your dignity, Magus. He was Janus. He just had plastic surgery to make his ears pointy. Or he grew <laughs> up somehow? And had plastic surgery. Or magic surgery, maybe. Yeah. Hmm. Wait, are they showing us what originally happened? This is what happened, yeah, at the at the Ocean Palace. Okay. Tiny gem. You mean before we interrupted, or like? Cause I'm I'm a little confused about that. Uh, it's it's not clear it's not clear if this is original timeline or if this is just before we showed up. Okay. I th I think you could you could argue it either way. I think. Right. I c that's what I'm confused about. Yeah. So there goes Melchior. There goes this guy. Who's this asshole? That's the Guru of Time. Is that guy on the left? This is Belsazar. The guru of reason. He's the one that designed the epoch in 2300. Buy you a shit. Is Shala his mother? Uh, sister. No, he's, oh. she's her sister. Yeah. He, he, she's his sister. God. Yeah. Hmm. That explains why Magus was so like upset about Shala. Yeah. <gasps> it is the old man. Is it the end of time? I recognize that mustache anyway. Oh, hey, it's Specchio. <laughs> Are you saying he turns into Specchio or he is like. No, no, you find, he finds Specchio here, I think. Like, he finds him somewhere at the other time. Oh, it's Ozzy. Oh, shit. Okay, so Ozzy brought up Janice. All these yeah. buttheads. Yeah. That explains why Magus 2 is a butthead. Yeah. <laughs> Thou art. Janus! The filthy urchin. Damn, Frog. Frog is like, I'm gonna kill Janus when he's little. Why does he call it the Middle Ages? Isn't it, though? He's never been further ahead than 600. But he, what's it in the middle of? Unless he time travels? Wait, how are you going to hell in the... I'm, I'm just poking fun at the script. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you're saying, like, how does he know? Yeah, why does he call it the Middle Ages? It'd be like someone in World War I calling it World War I. Oh, true. It would just <laughs> been mm. World War. And yeah, he posed as a prophet because he came in a few days or months or whatever before all that stuff happened. Mm. I mean... His entire life, he was devoting himself to trying to kill Lavos. That's why he summoned Lavos, because he was trying to summon him to kill him. Yeah, to punch Lavos personally in the face. Yeah, hmm. but it failed. Good call. He died! He failed, technically! Damn. Sounds like Magus is your number, Rox. Wait, what? Mega said basically the same thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's true. <laughs> he played See? with fire and got burned. Frog Knight is ready. Frog's like, come and have a go if you think you're hard enough. <laughs> oh. Wait, we're gonna recruit Magus. Hmm. We're gonna do it. Join us, Magus. We have a common enemy. He's too busy posing. Oh no, he's done posing. <laughs> yeah! We aren't even inviting him. He's just... <laughs> <laughs> Frog's like, no! I have a say! 
It's in the fucking pendant. Nonsense. Nonsense. Oh, my guess is just saying time travel. Time Name him! You can change his name! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I would have taken advantage of that opportunity! I would have done it! Oh man! Oh. Would he have been a forever butt face? I would have called him butts! I would have called him butts! <laughs> Oh, Idran, you missed out. <laughs> and another time, he was butts. Yeah. Or dicks. I mean, either way. Probably not a good idea to bring Throg with Magus, by the way, so let's bring in Luca instead. He yeah, looks look at this so equipment. emo. Look he at did this not, equipment. He did not age well. <laughs> Dark Scythe, Doom, Helm, Raven armor. <laughs> He's the most emo character. And you can also see his magic by the way. He's, when Lavos drained his power, he drained his power. Good. He does though, as you level him up and as you get more tech points, he does pick up all of his abilities from the fight in 680. Look, he's crouching. Hmm. Did they change the mix CD again? No one escaped. Chrono himself became a time. Ooh, damn. Wait, is it the Ocean Palace? It's Looks triangular. like it. Hmm. What the fuck? Laos gained armor? Is it the machine? What is this? This is the Ocean Palace. Oh, okay. God damn. Right. Didn't know the Ocean Palace was a giant flying future battleship. Fucking Magitech. So... Huh. Alright. You can fly now. Yep. Yeah. Thank god. Zoom zoom, motherfucker. Not much to fly to, though. But we get over near the middle of the map. The Black, black Omen. Omen. I wonder if the ship can also time travel. That's why it's giving off interference. to find out later. Right now we need to stop the end of time, because... Yep, Roxy, you might just have been right. Let's go talk to Gaspar. Talk to the old man who somehow got himself a bowler hat. And this big platform. Yeah. He's like, I have nothing else to do. A healthy kid with a radical haircut. You fucking died, old man. It's all your fault. Personally, I love Ayla sitting here in the corner, just being like, I'm ready. That's me. <laughs> and Frog just being sad. Sad about Chrono. Memories of Chrono. <laughs> oh no, it's a sweet song. Destroy him. Marl, get it together. Why do you think he's giving me this song? Wait! 
Is he in the egg? The Chrono Trigger. Title drop. <laughs> He's in the egg. <laughs> you sit on the egg! May or may not. Oh my god, we're gonna birth our friend back. <laughs> hmm. So is this where, like, if you had done all the side quests and all that shit, you get Chrono back? I... Uh, sort of. It doesn't really depend on what you've done before, it depends on what you've done from here out. Right. Magus is a little slow, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> They're all a little slow, except for Luca. Well, I guess, to be fair, no one act none of us that are here actually saw where the crew ended up and heard him talking about the end of time. True. I believe that's what they used to call me ages ago. Where the fuck did he get the bowler hat? That's what I want to know. Specchio gave it to him. Where the fuck did Specchio come from? Do you sort of roll up at the end of time, <laughs> see like this this old man some rolls, and be like, "You need some new duds." Actually, Probably. the first the first time Gaspar beats Specchio, his reward was the change of clothes. <laughs> <laughs> but he was like, "I'm the Lord of War." God damn! I keep hitting my microphone. <laughs> I can't gesture at all, which is really bad because I keep gesturing. Be careful, I I'll find a way to like move it so it's no longer. In the yeah. path of my hands. So, we need to talk to the person that built the epoch, Balthazar. So we need to head back to 2300 AD and talk to the robot new he put his brains into. Mm. Oh, look at this. Oh. That's a shadow, alright. What the fuck? Oh! Are they following us? About thirty feet back. Not, not just not following us exactly, but the black omen appeared in twelve thousand BC. It calls us BC. everywhere. It's gonna it. suck us in regardless of the time that we show up in. And right? here, this I was going to show that off. I accidentally chose the next one after twenty three hundred AD, which, which is nineteen ninety nine AD. So we just accidentally flew the epoch into the apocalypse. Right, because this is the end of the world. <laughs> oh no. Oops. <laughs> Whoops. We're not ready! Is this the Chrono Trigger? The end of the world. <laughs> For a second I thought Chrono was being born from there. Because I saw the, the spikiness, I'm like, oh, there he is! What if Lavos is Chrono? What if Chrono is inside Lavos? What if we throw the egg into Lavos? I thought Lavos was Marl. They're all connected. So let's get out of here. <laughs> get that out. Just arrive, see Lavos way much black. Nope. Time travel away. Tell him, boy. Mm. Bye. And yep, here it is. And it's actually even simpler than Black Omen following us. It was in 12,000 BC, it appeared. So that means that now it had always been there. Ah. There's just this massive floating thing above the world. For thousands of years. So no one ever questioned it. They're just like, yeah, this is a weird thing. Well, it, it's part of their life, so why would yeah. they question it? So is it not in prehistory? Well, it, nope, it's not in 65 million, because that's before it yeah. manifests. Before Lavas. Yep. Huh. Neat. So next time, I'll have to see about talking to Balthazar and seeing if we'll have any luck getting Chrono back. Godspeed, you crazy diamonds. I, I like the detail of Marl having a different Isle Sprite on the map now. <laughs> what lies beyond? The time egg! egg. egg. Lava oh, beckons! <laughs> well done. Well done. <laughs> the time egg. The chrono egg. What if instead of chrono trigger it was chrono egg? <laughs> I love Luca's line, by the way. Back when we saw the egg. Yeah, she's is like, it is it well horrible. done or hard? Well, yeah, hard. Oh, Luca, uh, I can always count on her. Unlike Marl. Unlike Marl. Unlike Marl. Marl's been trying. Has she though? 
<laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, I think she has. <laughs> I'll leave that up to the viewers to decide. <laughs> Frog's been trying to. Frog is good. Frog yep. was going to kick Mags' ass. <laughs> I might show it in a bonus video, by the way, but you can fight him there. If you don't have Frog in your party, it's three versus one. If you do have Frog in your party, it's a one-on-one -on -one duel. And Magus works exactly the way he did in the first time you fought him. Hmm. Nice. It's a little bit tough for the one-on-one -on -one duel. Can you beat him, though? Yep, you can beat him. Hmm. And then he's gone. You don't get him in your party. He's dead. And then he cries? Oh, so is that why, is that why you're just like, yep. no, I won't fight you. Frog doesn't want to fight him because he knows there's no purpose in it. It wouldn't actually achieve anything at this point. Chrono's desk kind of sure. pushed him past the whole thing with Magus. The whole revenge plot? Well, maybe it might. I mean, Magus was the one who turned him into a frog in the first place. Maybe killing him might... He can still kick Magus's ass after they save... <laughs> after they hatch Chrono from That's the true. egg. That's true. There's still time to kill Magus. Huh. There's always time to kill Magus. Yeah. Like, maybe he has to kill Magus to remove the frog curse. Do you think they have Chrono's egg in, like, a pot of water, <laughs> just slowly, slow, slowly boiling? I'm sure Luca did that. It was her he idea. He will mature. Just gives it a blast of fire magic every now and then. <laughs> Do you think Robo will be the one to hatch the egg? He's just, like, sitting perched on the egg. Sitting ready. in it? Or did they build, like, an incubator inside Robo? I, I'm saying sitting on it because kind of like Horton hears a cure oh, okay. or whatever. <laughs> I like both mental images myself. Yeah. <laughs> it's Robo. Uh. But until next time, everyone. See ya. See ya. Bye.